Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I want to talk about the Department of Motor Vehicles. The Department of Motor Vehicles is extremely powerful, especially in Southern California, because they have the ability to suspend or restrict a person's driver's license, and it's very, very difficult to get around to work, school, take care of the family if you don't have a valid license. The Department of Motor Vehicles often suspends or restricts about a million driver's licenses a year. It sounds like a big number, it is a big number, but there's a lot of reasons why the Department of Motor Vehicles may suspend a license. They may suspend it because there is some sort of action in court that causes it to get suspended. It may be a family law order where the person isn't paying spousal or child support that causes a suspension. They may not uh, be able to drive because they are considered a negligent operator, too many points on the record. There's a lot of different reasons why a license could be suspended. Some of the more common ones that cause a suspension, like I said, is a family law uh, order, uh, maybe a driving under the influence case. The DMV is doing a lot of physical and mental reevaluations now. There are uh, refusal hearings and negligent operator hearings, just to name a few of the common hearings that the DMV will, will take action against a license. Now, each of these different causes of a suspension can be lifted or removed in most cases, depending on the particular facts of the case, and a lot of the suspensions can be fought to avoid the DMV from suspending the license. So, for example, if we're dealing with a physical or mental uh, license suspension, the DMV is saying that the person is not safe to drive because of a physical or a mental condition. A lot of times after an accident, if the person had a seizure or was disoriented, the DMV may try to suspend the license. These hearings can be fought. We can show the DMV that there's more going on and explain to the DMV why they should not take action or not suspend the license. If it's a negligent operator hearing, there are certain point counts they're looking for. We may be able to do something with old points, avoiding new points, explaining the driving history to avoid the suspension. Of course, if the license is suspended for non-payment of a previous ticket or a failure to appear in court, we need to make sure that we clear those holds. If there's a child support issue, we need to make sure that we get that hold cleared to get the license reissued and the person back on the road. If you've got questions about your driver's license in Southern California, give me a call. You can reach me at 310-424-3145. I'd be happy to talk to you about the type of hearing that you may be entitled to, what the suspension is about, how to clear that suspension, and get a valid license, if at all possible, as soon as you can. Give me a call if you have questions. Once again, this is Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld, 310-424-3145. Take care.